Europe needs to do an awful lot better. Uh, Irish people are very fond of the European project. We were really wow. proud of the European project in the 70s and the 80s and a bit into the 90s. But Europe lost its way uh, in the following decades and then we suffered the terrible crash. So we need Europe to succeed. We need Europe to renew its social contract with the citizens. My name is Nicole Sykes. I'm from Ireland, uh, but my parents are from Moldova. Therefore, I think that we need to include more countries and have all the countries unite, not just certain ones. Because this region is now being cut off from its neighbour when they leave the UK, we need to make sure that the European Union continues to give cohesion funding to build things like transport infrastructure, broadband infrastructure, to make it easy for these companies to access the European markets. I mean, ideally in the next couple of years, when Brexit's finished and things settle down, it'd be nice to see a more unified Europe. If Europe was a little bit more united, it would be a hell of a lot stronger. You know, people would be a little bit prouder. I think it'd be a lot more peaceful. Well, there's been huge change in our world and sometimes politics and institutions are behind that change. So I think what Europe needs to do is to be ahead, understand how the world has changed, understand how the world of work has changed, understand the importance of confronting climate change. All of the big questions that are on people's minds, Europe needs to understand that and the European Union needs to lead on all of those issues. The challenges we face today are truly international challenges that can't be solved by national governments alone. The answers and solutions have to be found in Europe and they have to be found in a social Europe that truly addresses questions like the future of work and climate change in a way that puts people first and builds a fairer future for all Europeans.